Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark. Final score, Chicago Sky 88, Indiana Fever 87. The Sky snapped the Fever's four-game winning streak. And it was Angel Reese who went wild. She went off. 25 points. She took over in the four. She was 8 of 12 from the field. Added 16 rebounds, a one assist. Gave a great post-game interview. Um, like, this is happening. It, it's... It, it, we knew that they would get attention just because they were super famous coming into the league, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, but like they're performing. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's not like neither one of them has been what you would call disappointing. I, I know Caitlin team got off to a rough start. The shooting percentages weren't great, but both of these things are true right now. This was Angel Reese's eighth straight double double. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese have both already. Like, you know, you just go to ESPN stats and info where they tweet these yep. little things. They're doing things that have never been done in the WNBA by by women their age, by rookie um, players. They're both not only living up to expectations, they're exceeding them on the court. And the off-the-court stuff still continues to, you know, it was impossible to be on social media yesterday and not realize that Angel Reese did something awesome. Right. Like, yeah. you were, you were going to see that. You couldn't be on social media yesterday without knowing – Man, I don't know what time this game is or when it was or how it, but Angel Reese must have done something big today. First, like, you know, she had the pregame outfit. Those are starting to get attention just yep. like they do with NBA players. So that was plastered everywhere. She looked great. And then, uh, and then she, like, you know, delivered 25 points and 16 rebounds. That's a big eight straight double double as a rookie. And this comes after, I guess it was Caitlin in the Fever played in Atlanta on Friday night. Sold out, State Farm Arena. Yeah. Just sold out. And Dan Walken was there because he lives there, wrote a column about it for USA Today. And he was like, you guys can keep pretending this isn't a thing. But, like, I watch Kevin Durant come to Atlanta, and he doesn't fill this building up like this. This is, this, is a, this is not normal, this Caitlin Clark thing. And she's, again, a little rocky here and there, mm -hmm. learning curves, all that stuff. But she is performing at an elite level for a rookie Angel Reese is as well. And all of this, like, and, and honestly, having the sky and fever against each other in back-to-back -back weekends, big time. I don't know if you saw the, because they were on CBS last weekend. Yes. Highest rated, most watched WNBA game in like 23 years. How about that? Like, really, in this time where NBA's over, you know, I love baseball, but, you know, most sports fans just ignore it. Um, like as much as you can get Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark on a court together you know, on the networks on the weekends. I mean, it's, it's sign me up, sign me up to it. The Gary Parish show live weekdays at 10 a.m.